Hey everyone, so I made a replica of a 530 for flight sim and currently I'm using it with X-Plane. However, it should not be a problem with any of the past or upcoming future uh, flight simulators. Um, but more on that later. Um, so the point of flight simulator obviously is to get close to the, uh, to the real deal as possible. And, um, and so I went online to kind of see what was out there as far as uh, the GPS code, because honestly, it is a pain in the butt to use the mouse to adjust uh, the GPS. Uh, so I was trying to look for something that was reasonable in the price range and would allow me to kind of, you know, do what I wanted to do. Uh, sadly, I was not able to find anything. So then I decided uh, to make something myself. And so uh, this is showing off uh, the uh, the 530 that I have designed. So in this case, it's a complete replica as well all the buttons, the rotary knobs, uh, the, the dual, plus the push button as well uh, on both sides. Uh, and so here I have X-Plane loaded up here. And so I'm just gonna kind of go through it here really quickly for you guys. So we're on the map page. So I'm just gonna zoom out with the top button there, zoom in. Uh, we can go into uh, the waypoint. I can go back with the big knob and uh, with the small knob I can change uh, the values go to the next one change it next one then you know hit this center wheel as well that works as well uh, next one is going um, well in this case let's go to the flight plan say if you have a flight plan loaded up uh, once again just push in the button go in Maybe add something else in there. Uh, hit the enter button. No, that's fine, except <clears throat> in this case, uh, even if you want to go back to the main menu, uh, one uh, function is normally you can uh, hit the clear button, but in order to do that, you have to hold it down. That function is also implemented as well, which is really nice. Uh, actually, if we go back into the flight plan, um, you can hit the menu button. You, know, you can delete the flight plan if you want to, hitting enter at the bottom. Um, all the Calm and, and and nap stuff is in there as well. So, toggling between uh, the comms, toggling between the navs, uh, hitting the button in the center there, and switching to the bottom one, uh, rotating the dial. It's a big one, a small one, going in the opposite direction. Uh, all that's functioning. Yeah, all the buttons at the bottom as well. Uh, the CDI, um, the OBS the message popping up uh, obviously you guys saw the flight plan um, the vnav and then um, the procedures as well so uh, everything is, is functioning in this case uh, it's made uh flying a lot more enjoyable a lot more fun honestly uh, uh, i can't imagine doing uh, going without it anymore uh, forget about the mouse <laughs> uh, so if you're interested uh, and grabbing one of these uh, I have the information uh, email in the description below so just shoot me a message if you're interested uh, and we can uh, work something out okay thank you guys take care